Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just had a conversation with Dr. Burroughs that was kind of illuminating in a way. Now we're going to have a talk with Dr. Eight, which will be slightly less. Duh, what was that? <laughs> Did something happen with your voice module? Those are some weird audio clips in there. That's, a uh, too bad, or good, or something. I'm pretty sure you can understand me, and I want some answers. Who are you? Good to meet you, uh, double circle, uh, dash, whoever. <laughs> yeah, that's just some noises. Do you know anything about Dr. Mobius or the Forbidden Zone? Alright, alright, just calm down. Didn't mean to alarm you. Can you tell me about these technologies Klein wants? You sound agitated. Or you're percolating. Or something. Uh, tell me about the big empty. No need to get indignant, we're just asking a question. You're emitting characters in patterns of eight, bracketed, with tone adjustment at the end. Hey! Well, I just heard the rhythm and the sequence is all. Well, all life is patterns. You just gotta let the unconscious process them. I agree. If someone would take the time, you're more than just sound effects in a tank. I still don't understand it. Trust me, I don't. I'm basically running off of this. Uh... Now that we know each other better, can you tell me about the sonic emitter? Yeah, I understood that part already. I don't know why I'm being quiet for this. It's all gibberish. <laughs> no, I've been there. Higgs Village, right? Your house is there. So there's an emitter code in your house in Higgs. Oh, two codes. One for the jukebox and one for the opera. Nice, I'll keep an eye out. Uh, what was it? I may... Yeah, I probably had picked them up. I may have already picked up both. I grab almost anything that's not nailed down. <laughs> um, about when I first arrived, tell me you didn't sunjaculate into the... my... sonic emitter. Well, there had to be some other way to fire it up. Can we at least talk it over next time? <laughs> oh my god. Usually I can find some cram lying around. Put some duct tape around the lid. Good to go. <laughs> oh god, that sounds like something Jake would say. Uh, nothing to be embarrassed about. It's just that it's best to keep that stuff private, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, fair enough. We'll go with that one. So I got the emitter fully upgraded. Yeah, it's really hard to understand you. It's a little slow to fire, but the force field disabling frequency is handy. 
Are you okay? You look really happy. You should be proud. It's a nice device. Kind of. Hey! He gave me energy cells. Hey, thanks. No wanted to run out, you're right. Alright, we're all good, and I think he likes me now. I mean, I could hack into his system, but that would be rude to do that. It would be very rude. Alright, so now we've talked to Burroughs, we've talked to Eight. Let's talk to Klein. Not right now. Wait, wait. Huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's another thing on Dr. Eight here. Investigate Eight's term link code. That, I think that's basically meaning they want me to hack him. Or something. Let's talk to him real quick. Trust me, I'll get the technologies, all right? I wanted to ask you some questions. Uh, I need more science to be able to do that. So, let's see. I do have some scientist scrubs I picked up. And if I pop Mentats, it might be just the boost I need. Alright, yeah, I'll ask you some questions. I don't have enough? What? Oh, it's not Mentats I needed for that. It was pr the Programmer's Digest. I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's do that. If that's Rob Kink term link protocol, doesn't that mean it can be hacked? Uh... <laughs> If that's term link code, don't worry, I'm not going to take advantage of your exposed code. Not a problem, I know what it's like to be experimented on. Yeah, that's why I don't have my brain in my head anymore. It's why it, and that's why it's fucking... Just running through Big Mountain on fucking watery biogel. There we go. And we're good. We finished that line right there. Cool beans. Now, Klein, I need to talk to you, buddy. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. Oh, trust me, you've indicated 19 million times, I'm well aware. I'd be honored if I could hear any knowledge the think tank had to share on the sciences. Why, yes. We are filled with the knowledge you speak of. Uh -huh. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. Well, I, I seem to have played into his ego a little bit. I mean, a lot of bit. You seem like the one in charge. You are... I am Dr. Klein. Chief Head Researcher of Logistical Operations and Ideology here at Big Mountain. I am surprised you have not heard of me. I am first in my field. First chair, as it were, back in the days of chairs. Uh, I think some of those words were incorrectly pronounced. Ideology, not ideaology. And okay. Anyway, who is Dr. Mobius? Dr. Mobius was not the horrifying creature you saw upon the screen, twisted by science. He was once one of us, a friend. He what researched in directions contrary to the think tank. Brains, 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 always about the brains. So we exiled him. He says he left of his own volition, but that was to save him the embarrassment. Now he sends his intelligence-consuming scorpions from the Forbidden Zone to plunder the secrets of Big Mountain. He is a menace. 
Alrighty. These mechanical robo-scorpions consume intelligence. Are you certain of your findings? Dr. O is certain of his findings, and no one else in the think tank is willing to test the results. Loss of brain power. Terrifying. O has said on many occasions his inability to comprehend Mobius's robo-schematics is because of repeated robo-scorpion stings. Okay, fair enough. Uh... What was it? There's... Uh, there it is. What is this place? This is the Think Tank. The nerve center of Big Mountain. The greatest research center known to man. And to us. Here we test and test and test some more in the name of science. Atomic power, nuclear power, and scientific power. Alrighty. I've heard this place called the Big Empty. Yes, because the intellectually challenged see an M and a T next to each other and take Occam's razor to it. Ah. While you are here, you will refer to this place properly, and you will do the same with the other scientists here. Fair enough. Why do I have this strange passive sensation in here? It's a side effect of the cerebral scrubbing. It won't stop you from excreting or asking questions, apparently. I have to correct that next time. Do you know? Hormonal aggressive tendencies are actively suppressed, however. They are a no-no and not permitted in the think tank. The scrubbing also ensures your silence to keep Big Mountain safe. This facility is top secret, and you cannot speak of it to anyone outside of Big Mountain. Should have done it with the last batch and the anti-aggression scrub. Why the anti-aggression programming? We had to take precautions after the last visitors. They caused a great deal of damage in a short time. I bet. Should have made sure they couldn't mention Big Mountain once they left. An oversight. Who were these visitors? Dr. Eight and Dr. O could tell you more. Dr. O more than Eight. The battle against the visitors damaged Eight's voice module. Which is why it's Suffice to say, those code. visitors are unwelcome. They stole a great many secrets and much technology. Impertinent. They also broke one of my trains. <laughs> he sounds like he's five. <laughs> he also broke one of my trains. Mommy! <laughs> okay. I'd like to know about the Forbidden Zone. That glowing red scar? That laser lobotomy canyon maze carved in the landscape, as if by some child? Yes. It is Mobius's fortress. From that hemorrhoidal fissure, he sends his amazing robo-scorpions to terrify and irritate us. <laughs> he always tended to the dramatic. Did you have to use that descriptor with the fissure? Did you really have to? That... That, that's gross. You're gross. Uh, I have a question about this brain extraction you all performed. Well, we didn't actually do it. We tried to clean up after, as always, but usually the autodoc runs on remote. But we programmed it, or Mobius did. Okay. Still, this new wrinkle with the Tesla coils in your skull was unexpected. I mean, we predicted we'd have a breakthrough eventually, but... Dala knows more. She supervised your spine peel and the heart circumcision, then dumped them both into the tanks in the sink above. Quite sanitary. Sure took her time. She always takes longer than projected with lobotomite surgeries. Not sure why. Hmm. So you said that Mobius might have my brain. Yes. In all probable likelihoods, yes. Possibly. Because he that it may thing. have gone to Mobius is merely an inkling. I don't know why, but it may be something involving the surgery code. Actually, I don't know. All I know is it misplaced itself, or it floated off. They get into robots sometimes and go on a tear. Huh. So you have no fucking idea. Great! Lovely! Alright, anyway. What's this autodoc surgery code you mentioned? 
Mobius's legacy code was in the old auto dock. Yes, it fried itself after your procedure so he couldn't tell for sure. Oh. It is unfortunate. We would have benefited from knowing how the breakthrough occurred. Even if we installed another chip, the information is lost. That is true. I know the reason why it succeeded, but I'll mention it when it comes up. Anyway, why would Mobius want my brain? Why does he seek our destruction? Why did he build robot scorpions with intelligence training stingers? It is because he hasn't cleaned his biogel in a long time. Clearly he's got some sort of psychological corrosion. He's mad. That'll happen. That'll happen a lot. I don't understand how poison poisons can dumbify you. That's not the correct word at all. Uh, I have other questions for you. More? Very yeah. well, do your asking then. I'm going to, whether you like it or not. Uh, can you tell me about more about these pylons? Ask Boros. I believe he knows more about the fence than any brain. Except maybe Mobius. You always Mobius mention Mobius. Mobius was involved in their construction, if I recall. But he's such a hack, he probably was reading off Boros' notes and schematics. Okay. That's all for now. Yes, goodbye. a most goodbye. Yeah, about that. I don't think I talked to... Boros about one particular thing. The Lobotomite returns! What insidious plan can it have brewing in its horrid mind? What commie anti-American propaganda will it spew? Okay, I know you don't understand the concept of gender anymore. But it's he, please. He. Thank you. Who are you and what do you do here? Before you is the brain of Dr. Boros, head of animology, beastology, and DNA scrambling technology here at Big Mountain. Alrighty. I lay the bones and hearts of animals bare beneath my searing gaze, especially the dogs. I did so love dogs once, especially Gabe, that rascal. But there are many animals to shape. Industrious Cazadors, the happy-go-lucky Night Stalkers. They are my living, breathing DNA test tubes. You're responsible for Cazadors. Indeed. Docile, curious, safe, sterile. They no. are contained here at Big Mountain to preserve DNA and for observation. Contained at Big Mountain? Those things are all over the Mojave. No, such creatures are found only here for research purposes. They would no more be capable of escape than breeding. Oh, those motherfuckers are breeding all right. <laughs> they are breeding all right. I cannot expect a lobotomite to understand the careful surgical castrating procedures used in their creation. Do you understand? Perhaps a demonstration of my castrating power would settle your doubts. How about no? You might make me more fertile or impregnate me. We're not doing impreg here, okay? Impregnate you? What? Do you want to make me vomit inside my tank? That'd be a sight to see. The mere notion makes the edges of my biomed gel crystallize into asymmetrical patterns. You don't seem to have a grasp on your own research. Nonsense! That is what you speak. Nonsense! From beyond! I was at the top of my high school class in American high school. I knew facts. I knew figures. I knew data. Keyword new. We would know if our research was flawed. It is not. We never contradict ourselves. So do not even try. Oh, I will try. So, when... When did you create Casador's No. So Night Stalkers were created for what purpose, then? To preserve Coyote. No, no wait. The snake DNA was important because the snakes with the rattles were dying out and... 
Or maybe it was a vet from Callus in X8. He had some mud lion, eagle, condor idea. Bet you can't breed this, he said. <laughs> Showed him. Then it spliced itself into a coyote, a snake thing, which was eventually successful. Kept that DNA where it belonged. Spliced. Why are we even debating this? Duh. What you ask is of no importance. Mobius besieges us. There are more important things to worry about than data and facts. I thought that's your job, though. <laughs> Isn't that your job? Isn't that what you just got done saying was your job? Whatever. Whatever, these people are loco. Until next loco. time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. Oh, trust me, there will be. Maybe not for you later, but for me, definitely. Anyway, we'll talk to the other two, I think, in the next episode. Thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. Take a look at my Patreon down below in the description. Decide whether or not you want to support me in making more videos for you guys. Or not, it's completely up to you. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat. Playing games for you.